Alright, this is a quick video of the Xperia X1 running Windows Mobile 6.5. The 6.5 version that I have on this device is uh, uh, 21234. Try to focus a little bit. Yeah, 21234. Yeah, this is a pretty um, updated version of Windows Mobile 6.5. I got it at uh, XD Developers. Um, so credit goes to those guys there was able to port it over. has full scrolling functionality uh, as you would get for a Windows Mobile 6.5 device. Um, two ways to scroll. You can either swipe up, it's, you know, swipe down, or you can select whatever, you know, tab that you want, more specifically by highlighting this bar and going up and down. So say for example here, the weather p uh, pane, you can swipe across or the same thing could go to email or text messages or calendars. Um, you know, you can see appointments here. Nothing really for the next couple of days. Or so the same thing will go over here for the music. You can select whatever music that you want here. I know played from here. Not sure if you can hear it. Um it also has full hardware support for video playback using um, hardware acceleration. Let me show a quick video of uh, video playback. Uh, let's see. Let me play this. play this. And you may not be able to see the, the screen quality from this webcam recording that I'm doing, but I guarantee you guys it's crystal clear. The, the Christmas and the color is superb, as well as, the, you know, the, the frame rate. It's awesome. basically that for that. Or oh, another reason why I wanted to show this video was um, to show you guys uh, the updated version of Kinoma Player. Um, this is the start menu. I have it back to the Honeycomb version. It has a, a whole page of uh, uh, programs per swipe. Uh, here's Kinoma Player. Alright, for Kinoma Player, um, I'll admit the a version right before this one, to me, um, in my opinion, was a little bit faster than um, the version that was released like two, three days ago. Um, I'm guessing it's because of the main menu for the Kinoma Play has a lot of apps and you know all that stuff. But for me, it was um, <coughs> a little bit faster to get here. Um, from here, you can see a couple various um, apps, you know, and services. I mainly use everything here except box.net and um, iDisk. You know, let me see over here. It's Flickr, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. You can get more apps at the App Store, which is pretty good. Um, where to start? Okay. For music, it has, um, you know, you can select by song, artist, album, genre. For albums, you can select, um, and you can see by the album art, and you can scroll using that. You can scroll either fast or slow, up to you. It's pretty responsive. And if I want to play something, okay, let's see what I want to play. All right, put in the comedy. Uh, oh, it plays back. Like, for example, you were listening to, um, Whatever you listen to prefer, um, previously, and you stop it, it'll resume from um, where you left off. Like, 
It also has a little two band equalizer, which is pretty good. It has um, bass and treble, which is pretty good. Uh, in conjunction, I use uh, SRS Wow HD to enhance it a bit more. You can play it in the background also. Yeah, it takes a second to get back to the main menu. I guess it's because of the, like I mentioned before, the updated apps and all that. Um, if you want to get back into whatever you're playing, you can just click bottom here and you get into it. That's pretty good. Alright, um, the history could play. Uh, if you could look at the history, you could see whatever you played recently, and you could just resume from there. Go to your favorites, like whatever song you are playing, or whatever radio station that you look for. You can um, play back whatever radio station that you favorited here. Like, say for example, you know, these are the favorites that I have. So say for example, I like to listen to this radio station, I could just go back to here at any given moment and listen to the news or whatever I have favorited here, videos, podcasts, um, whatever streams. Um, let's see, well, that's basically all that I really wanted to show. What the hell is this? Oh crap. And we get out of here, some stuff that's not really supposed to show. And uh, let's see, um, media, you could also sync your playlist, like say for example you have a playlist on your computer, you can sync it over to um, Kinoma Player, which I think is awesome, instead of having to do a manual add to playlist, this is what I listen to at night sometimes when I'm going to bed. Yeah, but that's basically the quick rundown of um, Kinoma Play that I wanted to show. It's an awesome um, media player. The video playback, I wouldn't really recommend it for video, but for everything else, this is a definite must get, hands down. Um, 